Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss past paper question on electric field and magnetic field from May June 2022, paper 4, variant 1. In this question, we will study motion of particle in a region where we have electric field and we have magnetic field. Imagine that we have a horizontal circle. So this one is horizontal circle. In this horizontal circle, mean in this region, we have electric field and also we have magnetic field. So we will study how particle will move in this region and this concept is very important in physics and we will study this one by solving past paper questions let's study together let's improve together for question number two it is given to us a sphere of mass 1.6 times 10 to negative 10 kgs has a charge of 0.27 nanocoulombs and this is positive charge the sphere is in a uniform electric field that acts vertically upwards as shown in the side view in figure 2.1 so this figure is a side view very important point you Need to understand this is side view it is also given to us the force exerted on the sphere by the electric field causes the sphere to remain at a fixed vertical height in a horizontal plane now you need to imagine horizontal plane so imagine that we have this circle so this is a horizontal plane or simply you can imagine that imagine that we have this book so this plane of the book this is horizontal plane and particle is in this horizontal plane and and particle has fixed height it means that the particle is not moving vertically up particle is not moving vertically down it simply means that forces acting on particle along vertical these forces are balanced and this is very important point we will need this point later to answer this question for this question it is also given to us there is a uniform magnetic field in the region of the electric field it means in the same region we have electric field that that is uniform we also have magnetic field and magnetic field is also uniform the sphere moves at a speed of 0.78 meters per second in the horizontal plane the magnetic field causes the sphere to move in a circular path of radius 3.4 meters as shown in the view from above in figure 2.2 so this view is from above means if you look at this horizontal plane from above what we will see we will see electric field lines out of the page mean imagine that this is the horizontal circle as you can see this is the circle so we can rotate this is horizontal now so we are looking from the above so we will see electric field lines out of the page and electric field lines are vertically upwards so this is what is given to us we can also imagine this one by simply drawing this horizontal circle particle is moving in this horizontal circle and electric field lines are vertically upward so electric field lines are like this they are vertically upwards in this horizontal plane but the particle means the sphere is moving in this horizontal plane so this is how you can visualize this now we need to understand the particle is moving in a horizontal plane it means that there is kind of force that is forcing this particle to do a circular motion because if there is no net force on the body body will continue moving in a straight line with constant velocity or simply you can say in a straight line with constant speed but this particle is moving in a circle it mean this particle has been forced to move in a circle it simply means that there is resultant force on this particle acting in this horizontal plane and that force is due to magnetic field or simply we can say that is magnetic force for part a1 we need to determine direction of uniform magnetic field for this question it is given to us the particle is moving in a horizontal plane so in order to find direction of magnetic field we will draw first of all horizontal circle in this circle particle is moving in counterclockwise direction so we can draw this is how our particle is moving so particle is moving in counterclockwise direction if we take this point at this point particle is moving to the right so 
we can say this is V. And the force acting on this particle is towards center of this circle. Or if I take this horizontal plane here, so in this case means force is into the page. So we can say in this case V is this way and the force on this particle is into the page. So this is direction of force. Force is into the page. So this is direction of force. Now we need to find out direction of magnetic field. So simply we have to use Fleming left hand rule. We can use Fleming left hand rule and we can find direction of magnetic field. Now first of all you need to align this mirror finger with direction of V. So the mirror finger is to the right and the force is into the page. So this is force is into the page. So the magnetic field in this case is pointing vertically downwards. So we can write down direction of magnetic field this is vertically downwards so this is direction of magnetic field so magnetic field is vertically downwards so this is one way you can answer now let's try to answer the same question using view from above in this case you need to understand electric field is vertically up and direction of electric field from above this is out of the page and so this is out of the page. Now, if we take this point, at this point, particle is moving to the right and direction of force on this particle is vertically up. So this is direction of force. Now, in this case, again, you see this finger is pointing to the right, means particle is moving to the right. Force on this particle is vertically up. So the magnetic field is into the page. So in this case, you will get B that is into the page. So into the page, Page means that this is vertically downwards because this is view from above. Electric field out of the page means electric field is vertically up. So this is electric field that is vertically up and magnetic field from above is into the page. So it means this is vertically downwards. It's very important you need to understand this particle is in horizontal plane and then you can find direction of magnetic field. For the answer of this question simply you need to write down vertically downwards. If you write down this one, you will get one mark and that is the mark. For the second part, we need to explain why the motion of the sphere in the horizontal plane is circular. Means why the motion of this sphere is circular. In this case, we need to understand magnetic force is acting perpendicular to velocity. So the angle between magnetic force and velocity of the particle is 90 degrees. If this is true, there is a force that is acting at an angle of 90 degree to motion of the particle. That force will cause centripetal acceleration. Means particle will move in a circle. So that force will cause centripetal acceleration. And this is what you need to write down for the answer of this question. One point you can say force is perpendicular to the velocity and as force is perpendicular to the velocity and magnitude of the force is constant so the particle move with constant speed in horizontal circle means in this case in horizontal plane so these two points you have to mention in your answer let me show you how you can write down the answer this is how you can write down your answer you can mention these two points you will get one mark if you have written this first point then the second mark you will get if you have written the second point so this is how marks will be awarded for this question. This is very important point. You need to understand when there is a component of resultant force that is perpendicular to the velocity of the particle, that component of force will cause centripetal acceleration and particle will do circular motion. Very important one. You have to be clear about this. For part B, we need to calculate value of uniform electric field. It simply means that we need to calculate value of capital E. For this question, it is given to us the particle is moving in a horizontal plane. It simply means that particle is not moving vertically up, particle is not moving vertically down. Or simply we can say, in this case, forces acting on this particle are balanced. Now we need to understand forces acting on this particle. First thing you need to understand, this particle has a mass. So it means weight is acting vertically downwards, means the gravity is acting vertically downwards. So simply we can say W in this case is equal to mg. And this particle has charge and this particle is in 
electric field. So the electric force has to act vertically upwards because there is no any other force acting on this particle. So the electric force we can say Fe, this one has to be equal to E times Q. Now simply we need to equate these two forces. We can say in this case electrical force is equal to W means weight of the sphere and electrical force is equal to EQ. Weight is equal to mg. We need to find out value of E. So simply we can rearrange E will be equal to mg divided by Q. Value of m is given that was equal to 1.6 times 10 to negative 10 kgs value of g is 9.81 and charge on this particle was 0.27 nanocoulombs so simply we can say this is 0.27 times 10 to minus 9. Now, if we solve this one, our final answer will be 5.8 newtons per coulomb. Our answer is up to 2SF because we have least number of SF in raw data that is equal to 2SF. So, this is how you can write down the final answer. Final answer has to be equal to 5.8 2SF. This question has two marks. The first mark you will get if you have written EQ is equal to MG and this one is C mark, you will get one mark. And the second mark is the answer mark. If you have got the right answer, you will get second mark. For part C, we need to consider magnetic force on the sphere and we need to show that flux density of the uniform magnetic field is 0.14 Tesla. In this case, hint is given to you and also you have to use that hint in your answer means you have to consider magnetic force on the sphere to calculate magnetic flux density now we need to look at motion of the particle this particle is moving in a horizontal plane and only force acting on this particle along horizontal is magnetic force so it simply means that particle is doing circular motion and force acting on this particle in horizontal plane means along horizontal that force is magnetic force. So it simply means that centripetal force in this case is provided by magnetic force. So simply we can say in this case centripetal force is provided by magnetic force. So is provided by magnetic force. So very important point you have to understand this. Centripetal force is not a force by itself. Centripetal force is a resultant force due to other forces. In this case, the resultant force along horizontal means in the horizontal plane is only magnetic force. So we can say in this case, Fb is equal to Fc. So Fb is equal to BQV. So this is BQ v and centripetal force is equal to mv squared divided by r in this case we need to calculate b so simply we can cancel this v with this one so we can rearrange this we can write on b is equal to mv divided by r times q now simply we need to plug in values mass of the sphere is given mass of the sphere was equal to 1.6 times 10 to negative 10 kgs and speed of the particle is given that was equal to 0.78 and radius of the sphere is also given to us radius of the sphere is equal to 3.4 meters and charge on particle was was given that was equal to 0.27 times 10 to negative 9 means nanocoulombs now if we simplify this means simply you put these numbers into your calculator your final answer has to be equal to 0.14 tesla so this is what you need to show that b is equal to 0.14 tesla and this is our final answer this question has three marks the first mark you will get if you have written fb is equal to fc and this one is b mark I mean it has to be in your answer and the second mark is c mark if you have written B is equal to MV over RQ, you will get another mark and that is C mark. And the final mark is answer mark. If you have got the right answer, you will get three marks. This is how marks will be awarded for this question.